This course is not just going to teach you about writing Python code. That would be kind of boring. On top of teaching you how to code, I'm going to teach you not just the how, but I'm going to teach you the why. What you're going to see in programming that many times there's many different ways to do the same thing. So you may have three, four, five ways to do the same exact thing. And I'm going to show you not every way because I don't want to put you to sleep. Most programmers will use one or two ways and then move on. So I'm going to teach you not just the code, but I'm going to teach you the practical use of the code. I'm going to show you how Python is used in different areas. I'm going to give you a little examples of different things. And so you're going to get a much better feel for how Python is used in the real world versus just learning the code itself. When you're learning to code, let me give you three code learning tips. I've been programming since 1994. I've been teaching code since 2003. So I got a couple of, uh, I got some experience with this. So here are a couple of tips for you. Actually, three tips. Number one, when you're going through the video lessons, I strongly suggest that you take notes. You should get a notebook and you should take notes in that notebook. Pen and paper is what I'm talking about. So let me give you an idea of what I mean. So here's a notebook. Yeah, a notebook like this, I get this for a dollar. And in there, you got paper. And you got a pen. Now you're saying to yourself, why are we taking notes on pen and paper in a programming class? That makes no sense, Steph. Actually, it makes a lot of sense because the act of writing on paper, feeling a pen, writing on paper, taking notes, is gonna speed up the process of learning how to code, believe it or not. The, you take notes, your mind, your brain is, is going to be able to more quickly remember what it is you're learning. So I strongly suggest if you want to learn Python more quickly, take notes as you go. So you were going to write, you know, powerful Python chapter one, the start notes. Now what you're going to see in the course videos, are little pop-ups like this one right here. And these pop-ups, give you hints from me, hints from me to you, about what you might want to take down as a note. Now, just don't just follow the pop-ups because sometimes I'll be too lazy to add pop-ups. And so you should be paying attention. If you see a piece of information that you, you hear or see in one of the videos, take a note because it's gonna help you to learn Python. Tip number two, write code as much as possible. Writing code is a big part of learning how to code. Now, you may be tempted to sit back and watch videos, and if you do the interactive version of this, of this course, answering your questions, well, you'll be, you will be writing code in the interactive com component. But you should, apart from that, use the code editor, which I'm gonna show you how to install in the next video. Write the actual code that you see, pause the video, write code, pause the video, write code. You wanna write code as much as you can, because the more code you write, the more quickly you're gonna learn the stuff. So write code, write code, write code, as quickly as possible. And that will lead me to tip number three. Tip number three is that you're going to make lots of mistakes. Writing code is a process that is error prone. That means it's full of errors, it means you have to expect to make mistakes. That's why we have Windows, not one, not two, not three, we have Windows 10. Well, one of the reasons we have Windows 10 is because there's a lot of errors in writing code, so they come up with new versions of Windows to fix old problems. Another reason they have new versions, of course, is because they want to introduce new features. Same thing with iOS. I think we're at version nine or version 10 now of iOS, I think it's version nine. And again, new versions, is because of new features and because of bugs. Python itself, we're at version 3.5.2 at this time. I'm recording this in late 2016. Why do we have a version three? Why don't we just have version one? Again, new features and wanting to fix problems with previous versions of Python, especially when you see the points. So you got 3.5.2. When you have a point two, that point two version, that means there were bugs they were fixing. So bring it all back. When you are writing code, when you are learning Python, try to not get too frustrated. You may not get something on Monday. You may only get it on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. It doesn't matter. Once you get it, you'll never lose it. 
and do expect to make errors. Do expect to make errors. That's just normal with coding, so don't be shy. I'm thinking about learning tip number two of writing code, write code, write code. You're gonna make errors, no big deal. It happens all the time. We're humans, we're not AI. So uh, that's it. So those are my three tips. I think in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to install Python on Windows and on Mac. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Don't worry, I'm sure there's a lot of questions in your head right now. I'll be coming back, answering things. So we'll be diving into code, coming back out, looking at the big picture, coming back in to code, pulling back out, looking at industry, how Python is used. It's much more of a practical course here, not just writing code, that's kind of boring. All right, we're gonna install Python in the next video.